G'day Internet, welcome to Red Hot Go, my name is Dan and today we're going to waterproof the laundry floor. First you want to start off by making sure you remove any sharp edges that might be left over from concreting or filling holes in the wall. Next, give the whole floor a good sweep, making sure you sweep the walls as well. You need to make sure you get rid of all dust, oil and debris. Before waterproofing, the floor needs to be primed exactly the same way as when we did the self-leveling concrete and hopefully a link has popped up to take you there if you're interested. I found it easier to pour the primer onto the floor and use a large nap roller to spread it around. Once the first coat is dry, apply a second one and even a third if you think you need it. You also want to make sure you go up the walls at least as high as you intend on applying the waterproofing. Next we need to make sure all of the gaps are filled with a waterproof silicon. You also want to run a bead around the edges where the floor meets the wall and all the corners. Then run your finger over to smooth it out. Now we're up to the waterproofing. I'm using a pre-mixed ready to go compound and it's basically like liquid latex. So make sure you're wearing eye protection, gloves and a decent mask. It doesn't say it on the bucket but my chiropractor says it kills brain cells and I know he's got my back. We're going to start by applying the mixture liberally to the corners and hard to reach places using a hefty brush, making sure you paint down into the waste pipe. Then we'll pour some into a paint tray and use a small nap roller, making sure you roll in the same direction all over the floor. Once that's dry, apply the second coat and this time apply it at a 90 degree angle to the first to make sure you've got good coverage. You need to make sure there's no holes in it. Once that's dry, feel free to do as many coats as necessary and you're done. And that's how you waterproof a laundry floor. On to the next one. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Also, remember to give all your projects a red hot go and I'll see you on the next one.